Hello, and in this video, we're going to be looking at sewing tolerances in on shape. Uh, to do this, I have this interlocking block I made in a previous video. I put it on a drawing page and just put all four views on. I'm going to sew my hidden lines on some of these just so you can uh, easily see us apply these tolerances. Also, while I'm here, I'm going to sew the stated view on this top right. Uh, to sell your tolerances, first we have to dimension. So let's say we're doing this uh, center insertion piece that's here on the top. I'm doing that center circle. I can click on it and get the diameter of that circle. When I do that, it, I'll hit escape. It gives me the value. I double click on it and it lets me select right here in the middle a tolerance. When I do that, it gives me some options. Uh, right now it's on none. Symmetrical, uh, this is your bilateral where it goes the same in both directions. So let's show you that first. So let's say it was plus or minus 0.05. I can hit enter and if I click out of it, you can see it gives that plus or minus 0.05 for our value. So that means it can range from 0.200 to 0.300. Uh, that's what that value would mean. So that's how you would sell a bilateral uh, tolerance in on shape. Uh, so again, it's called symmetrical. It does the same thing. Uh, it's also known as a bilateral. Next is deviation or a unilateral. So a unilateral could be different values in each direction. So let's say I wanted it to be no more than 0.205. So then it may be 0, 0.00 going up and it may be 0.050 going down. So then it can range from 0.000 to 0.250. Uh, I can do that. When I click, you can see it changes those values in on shape for us. Uh, in this case, it would be more of a clearance fit with the holes because if we look at the holes, if I dimension any of those holes, uh, it's got a diameter of 0.250. Uh, so it would give me a clearance fit. So that would be a 0.250, so that would be a clearance fit. I can also dimension this one as well. I can put talents on this, and I can set that to have a deviation, or I can set that to have a limit as well. Limit is a very similar process, only it lists your upper and lower limits. So let's say the hole, I don't want it to be, uh, I want it to always be bigger than 0.25, so 0.25 or, or, or bigger. I could change this plus value to 0.05. And when I hit enter or when I click out of it, you can see it goes to 0.30. So that's another way of selling that deviation. So that 0.30 to 0.250. So if this is always bigger than 0.25, this is 0.25 or less, uh, we're always going to have, a, it's a, technically a transition fit, uh, but typically going to be a clearance fit depending on the, how your device works. So that would give us a clearance fit, allow it to rotate a little bit depending on how uh, precise your tools you use to create it are. Uh, so that last one we did is what's called a limit. So you click on it, you select limit, and it shows your limits. Uh, deviation we do for unilateral, and then symmetrical we do for bilateral. Uh, so that's how you sell your tolerances in OnShape. Uh, and I just use my interlocking block to help show you that. You can do that with any dimension you put in on shape. Uh, thank you and good luck.